According to the New Testament, it is adultery for a married person to get divorced and enter a, quote, new or second marriage. Mark chapter 10. They said, Moses allowed a man to write a bill of divorce and to send her away. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. Luke 16:18. Everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. And he who marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. Romans 7:3. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she is joined to another man while her husband is alive. 1 Corinthians 7. The wife should not separate from her husband, but if she does, she should remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband. Stephen Anderson also rejects the teaching of Jesus Christ and the New Testament on the indissolubility of marriage. Although Anderson admits that according to the New Testament, it is adultery for a married person to get divorced and enter a, quote, new or second marriage, he also heretically says that once the person has been, quote, remarried in the adulterous union, the person must not leave the adulterous union and that the situation eventually ceases to be adultery. I am divorced and remarried. Okay. And... I know the Bible says that remarriage, that you're causing someone else to commit adultery. Um, am I committing forever adultery by being remarried? No, I, I do not believe that you're in a continual state of adultery. I think that it was you committed sin when you got remarried. You know, that was committing adultery by marrying someone else. But, you know, now that you're married, now that you've made a vow to that person, you're supposed to keep that vow. And I do not believe that you're in a continual state of adultery. There are people that will teach that, oh, you know, you need to go back to your first husband. But that is a lie because, um, honestly, the Bible says that if you've been remarried, it's an abomination to go back to your first husband. I, I believe that's Deuteronomy 24, verse 4. So, okay. you know, uh, you're never supposed to go back to your first husband after you've been remarried. But, but obviously, people who've been divorced and they've not yet been remarried they're supposed to reconcile with their first spouse and go back to their first husband, of course. But once you get right. married a second time, you know, you have to just stick with, with who you're married to now. Does that answer your question? You know, if that's your story, if you've done that in the past, then you just need to confess it as a sin to God one time. Just admit it to God. It was a sin. I was wrong. I'm sorry. And then you move on. Anderson's false and heretical position on this matter is connected to the fact that he fails to distinguish between the precepts of the Mosaic Law and the teaching of Jesus Christ and the New Testament on marriage. As the New Testament teaches, the Mosaic Law contained dispensations on marriage for the hardness of people's hearts at the time that do not exist in and are not applicable to Christian marriage. Anderson's heresy rejects the teaching of Jesus Christ, the Gospel, and the New Testament on the indissolubility of marriage, and through it he confirms people in adultery and on the path to hell. The Vatican II Church also does not believe in the indissolubility of marriage. For as long as you file a petition for an annulment with the diocese and pay their fee, your marriage will be declared by them almost 100% of the time as never being valid.